Hey all, my name is Laszlo Leber, welcome to my channel coaching. Let me introduce myself a little bit. I'm working as a software engineer at Lufthansa Systems Hungary. Currently I'm working as a lead front-end engineer in an agile team. Today I will show you how can you create an NPM package. We will use the Create React App tool and we will use the GitLab's NPM package registry to distribute our package. We will transpile our code with Babel. So let's get started. First, please clone the starter project from GitLab and run the npm install to install the basic dependencies of the project. As I said before, it's made with CRA tool, but I moved the React dependencies to the peer dependency section in the package.json file. I will describe it later in detail. Okay, let's start the project. I will show you the basic structure of it. We will make the package from this uh, CRA project. As you can see here, we have a test page with two components, header and uh, custom button. You can find these components under the package slash components folder in the header sub uh, folder and you can see the custom button uh, .js here. We will make a package which will include these components this project uh, has some basic dependencies, for example, Material UI, and uh, we have uh, the React Router DOM dependency here as well. And uh, in this project, you can find a theme overriding of Material UI because uh, I have created uh, an extension about the Material UI's basic theme. So we have uh, custom colors and other uh, settings. Okay, if your project started, you can see here that we have a header with some menus, we have a logo and we have a custom button here. This button is based on the material UI's uh, button. It have a little uh, animation when you hover your mouse. Okay, now please stop the project and I will show you the steps to create our package. Uh, first, we install some Babel uh, dependencies. First, we install the Babel preset React. It's the preset to transpile the React related code with Babel and uh, we install Babel preset env2. It's a very important step because I had, for example, a problem if I didn't use it because uh, when I use my components in a test file in the project where I loaded the package and I didn't use the Babel preset env during build of the build the package, then, for example, uh, uh, in just test runner, the just test runner failed uh, to recognize the import statements. Uh, you can see here, so Babel preset env takes care of the transpile, for example, import statements and uh, uh, it's uh, simplified require, it, it creates the simplified require uh, calls instead of the import statements. As you can see here, I use some SVG files in this application, for example, for the logo. And uh, I use it, uh, I use them uh, as a React component. Uh, it's a very important step to tell Babel that uh, you would like to transpile the SVGs as a basic React component because uh, if you don't uh, do this, then uh, you will have runtime exceptions later when you will use the package. So now we will install the Babel plugin for this purpose. Okay, now run npm install and in install uh, the Babel de dependencies. The next step is to give a name to our package. I have already done this, but uh, as you can see here, uh, my uh, project is under coaching group on GitLab. And uh, as I said before, in this tutorial, we will dis distribute our package in the GitLab's npm package registry. 
You can read more about GitLab's package regis registry here. Uh, on this website, in the package naming convention section, you can see examples of naming your uh, packages. Okay, now we will set up Bubble. We have two presets I have mentioned before. And uh, you can see here that uh, I set the Bubble preset uh, React and Bubble preset env, and we have some uh, ignores. For example, we would like to ignore the test files by Bubble, so we can set it here. Okay, now we set in the package.json that it's uh, not a private package. Uh, we will create a build uh, command to distribute our package. The distribution folder, folder will be dist, so create a folder named uh, dist in the root directory. And after that we set in the package.json file that we would like to include the dist folder and the read, readme.md file in the final package. So we set up these uh, informations here. Okay, as I said before, uh, I moved the React uh, dependencies to the peer dependencies uh, part of the package.json file. This is because uh, we would like to import the final package later in an other React application and uh, it can be a problem, it could be a problem if, if you use different React uh, versions in different uh, packages. So if if the main project will have another uh, React version it, uh, and it's, it's different uh, from the package's uh, React uh, version, it will cause a runtime exception too. So I moved the React uh, dependencies under the peer dependencies part of the package.json file. It's a very, very important step. Okay, the next step is to enter your project's repository on GitLab and open settings repository. And we will create some deploy tokens for the application. Okay, here we set up our deploy tokens for the package. The name of uh, the token will be uh, npm test package. You can set any uh, name for this purpose. Uh, it ju it, it's just an, an ID to, to uh, separate it from other uh, tokens. So give a name uh, that, that you would like to uh, give for this token and uh, we will not use expired and we won't use username too. And uh, here at the bottom of the section, we can tell that uh, we would like to create this token for read package registry and uh, write package uh, registry. And after that, please click on the create uh, token button. After that, the system gives you a token. We will use the password as an auth token. So create a .mpmrc file in your home directory of your system uh, for your user and uh, place this, these lines uh, here. And uh, here you can set the auth tokens uh, and uh, here you can see that uh, we need our projects ID, you can find your uh, project's ID here on GitLab and please copy it and paste in the npmrc file and we will need it later in the package.json uh, file too. Okay, in the package.json file create a publish config and uh, for example for me it will contain the coaching registry. Please uh, write this URL here and uh, use your uh, project's ID as well and here it's very very important to uh, finish the line with a slash it's very very important because you will get uh, an error during publish if you forget to to close your line with uh, this uh, slash here the next thing is to set up 
our build script, which is by default this. So here we write uh, bundle hrc pair package. List to this folder, copy files, plugins, and react should be easy. Okay, so now we can hopefully build. We have the npm empty list. Folder. This plugin, this inline SVG plugin, uh, transpired, for example, the logo SVG to the format, as you can see here, and the other SVG file. And for example, the components, the header component is transpired to this format. This is an ES6 format. Okay, now we can call npm publish and if everything is okay, you can see a similar image, uh, similar output of uh, the, cons uh, the npm publish command here in the console. And after that, you can check your package in the packages and registries uh, submenu on uh, GitLab in your projects repository. And you can see here that my package uh, arrived right here and uh, you can uh, open your package you can see here the command of uh, that how can you install it for example now we will include uh, our creative package in another project so now please open another uh, react application and include your uh, package uh, in the package.json here you can see that I have already included my package uh, here in the in our pack, in my uh, package.json file and I have already installed it. You can see in the app.js uh, file that uh, I uh, imported my uh, custom button and header and uh, the theme of the material UI, uh, my custom theme and and, and uh, you can see my uh, project uh, is running and uh, it uses the custom components of my uh, package. You can see here that uh, under the node modules, uh, under coaching, uh, I can find my uh, transpiled uh, <coughs> components. Uh, so the install of my package and, and uh, everything is working here. Here you can see that I included my custom components here in the app.js uh, file, just for testing purpose, and uh, everything is working. Okay, thank you very much for watching. This is all for now today. Uh, if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel. You will find many interesting uh, videos in the future on this channel too. So thanks again, bye. And if you have any other questions about the theme we have, uh, uh, done today, then please write your comments under my video. Thank you very much. Bye.